What's up guys, how you doing? You're probably wondering why I'm waving my hands like I work at the airport. And it's basically all to do with cinematic footage, um, the 180 roll, natural motion blur, and to cut things really short so there's no BS at all, you basically need these things, all these things. These are filters. These guys are made by Freewell. And if you know anything about filters, Freewell make absolutely incredible glass. And I mean incredible. These guys, they don't play around. They really get to the point and they make fantastic stuff that is scratch proof, oil proof. It's, it's, it's insanely good. If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Flip Scrubber. Um, welcome, the subscribe button is down there. I'd really appreciate you um, tapping that for me. And um, today we're talking about how to make your GoPro footage look really nice and smooth and cinematic and how to do some pretty cool stuff with it. So first of all, I got this box, which came in a box like this. And in this box, you get a um, CPL, they call it a PL, but it is a CPL. And um, if you twist it, you will see that the, <coughs> <coughs> that the reflections um, disappear because it's a circular polarizer. And you turn it and the reflections, for example, in my smartphone would disappear, so I'll be able to see more or less what is behind the reflection. That's really cool. It cuts everything down by 1.6 stops. Keep that in mind. Um, next one is an ND8, which is a little bit darker. And the ND8 basically cuts things down by about three stops. And you use this if it's a little bit cloudy, um, no sunlight, but it's cloudy and you want to get that shutter speed down to 1 50th. Um, so it matches your 25 frames per second, right? Um, or your 24 and your 48, so 1 50th, right? Because there is no 1 48. Um, the next two in here, we have the, doo -doo -doo -doo, the 16, which is a little bit darker and it cuts things down to four stops and the 32 which cuts things down to five stops. This is like sunny cloudy weather and the 32 is sunny weather. Um, you might even want to get a 64 if you live in the middle of the desert or something and it's really sunny. So you stick this guy on your GoPro and it's really sunny and it will get everything down so that you're filming with the 180 rule and it's all beautiful cinematic. You have natural motion blur. Um, because if you check out these two images right here, you're gonna see the difference. If I take a freeze frame out of both of them, you're gonna see that one has got natural motion blur. The other one looks like you just took a really, really quick photo of me and it looks horrible. Um, so these are things that you really, really need in your kit. I mean, my cameras, my, my Sony right here, it always has an ND filter on the front. I'm using it constantly. This is actually a variable ND, but it's basically does the same thing as this. It cuts the amount of light entering the lens and hitting your sensor. Now, if you want to go real hardcore and I mean like just go absolutely crazy, you're going to get yourself um, this. It's the ND1000. Now with the ND1000, where is it? It's nice that they've actually labeled all of them. ND1000 is here. This is just like a black hole. And this cuts 10 stops of light down from hitting your lens sensor. It's, it's, it's just a big black piece of glass. Um, and it's really cool because you can get light trails, for example. So if it's not too dark yet and the sun's going down, you put this guy on. You put on, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds on the clock. And you can get really cool light trails with, you know, still some like ambient light going on. Um, or you can put it on and you can do light painting, for example. You can get a torch and you can paint stuff. You can do like really crazy creative stuff, which is fun. Uh, you can get star trails with this guy. I mean, this is basically just one dark filter that cuts all the light. Well, not all the light, but a whole bunch of light, which is 10 stops is a ton of light from entering your lens and hitting your sensor. So if you want to do those kind of things, or for example, if you have like a river or the sea and you want it to be really nice and smooth during the daytime, you could put this guy on and you basically would get that effect. If you can hear my Mavic 2 Pro turning on and off all the time, it's because I'm trying to drain the batteries for tomorrow's um, trip on the plane because they're meant to be drained down to like, you know, one quarter or something. Um, 
They come in these nice jewel um, cases. This is for the ND1000, because all it is is just one filter in there. That's not the ND1000, there we go. And this is for all these other filters. So they fit nicely on top of this, and you pack them away. Um, the filter, I believe it's um, all metal. It fits on really, really snugly. So all you basically do is you put it on top, twist, and that's it, it clicks on perfectly. It feels really snug. Um, I feel it's even snugger than the original. And it's, um, you know, the original is like this kind of plasticky thing. I think this filter is actually made out of metal um, from Freewell. It, you can tell it's, yeah, it is metal. It's 100% metal, metal and glass. So you can tell this has been really, really well made. Um, and I feel really confident having them on the camera. I've tested out for about two weeks now, um, or since I got my GoPro, how's long that been? Two weeks. And I've been having a lot of fun with them. All the footage has been coming out really nicely. Um, photos are nice and crisp, so um, no crazy color casks, no weird stuff going on. So if you're looking for a bunch of filters, I recommend you go out and get yourself these Freewell ones just to make your footage look a lot more cinematic, which I will be touching on a bit more um, when it comes to the GoPro, how to get cinematic footage, but this is definitely the first step. Um, I have had a question that is quite important, and that is when putting on the filters, that does it affect the um, image stabilization? Um, yeah, um, darkening your image will affect the image stabilization, um, basically because the image stabilization needs a lot of light to work. So if you're filming in pure daylight, and you're putting it on an N32, then it should be okay. Um, but if you're putting on N32 and it's like 8 p.m. in the evening and the sun's going down, then it's gonna be way too dark for your image stabilization to work correctly. And it's just gonna look fugly. Um, so don't do that. If you wanna film with these guys on and you wanna make it look cinematic and have the image stabilization working properly, like it should do, you gotta be filming during the day. Cause like I said in my film yesterday, this guy is not meant for low light situations. He's meant to have a ton of light going right into this tiny little, little sensor in this guy, just so everything works properly. If you guys have any questions at all about these filters, drop them in the comments below. Um, if you like my film, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, because that button is not meant to be red. It's not. Um, I think we just hit 9,000. That's awesome. Thank you to everybody out there that's been supporting me. And um, looks like I'm gonna hit 10K before Christmas, which is a great present. Next year, it's 100K. That is my goal. I'm probably gonna catch you tomorrow, and I'm gonna do something pretty cool, because I'm gonna take this guy, and I'm gonna vlog the whole trip with him. So this is actually gonna be a real vlog test of this camera. I'm gonna vlog from when I'm getting out, onto the plane, in the plane, out of the plane, until I get to the hotel. That is what I'm doing tomorrow. You guys have yourself a fantastic, um, well, night. And I'll probably catch you tomorrow if the internet works out there.